today we are going to say current electricity so it's a it's a new chapter uh, for plus two physics in current electricity what we uh, start us with the flow of electric charges through a conductor so we will consider here electrons moving in a conductor in uh, 10th standard you have learned uh, basics of current electricity in 10th you have seen that if you have a current carrying conductor for example this is a current carrying conductor a conductor uh, drawn in a bigger size this conductor will contain a large number of free electrons now when you apply a potential difference when you connect a battery across the ends of the conductor if this is a battery having a potential difference voltage v the electrons will experience a force so what happens is the electrons will start to move from uh, the negative terminal this uh, this end is negative and this end will be positive the electrons will start to move from the negative terminal to the positive terminal so this is the direction of electrons when we apply a potential difference across the ends of a conductor but conventionally we take uh, direction of current is from positive to negative so this is the direction of current from positive to negative now uh, the electric current is defined as flow of electrons through a conductor in a particular direction normal to the area cross section now if this is the area cross section of the conductor we will consider current flowing normal to the area cross section means perpendicular to the area cross section now how can i define current current i is equal to charge divided by time charge means the total charge flowing through the conductor and it is a time taken charge by time and its si unit is charge as unit coulomb time has unit second so coulomb by second otherwise known as ampere so ampere is si unit of a current to measure uh, ampere to measure current the device which we use is known as a meter a meter is the device which we use to measure electric current so when we apply a potential difference then uh, one end is at high potential other is at low potential current will start to flow from high potential to low potential actually electrons are flowing from positive to negative terminal to positive terminal but conventionally direction of current is from positive to negative now we will see what is meant by the potential difference how can you define the potential difference potential difference means it is defined as the work done to move q coulomb of charge work done divided by charge if you want to move q coulomb of charge from uh, one end to the other end of a conductor then work done w is the corresponding work done and q is the quantity of charge which we move so w by q is potential difference work done we have a unit joule for charge we have a unit coulomb so it has unit joule per coulomb otherwise known as volt volt or joule per coulomb to measure the potential difference the device which we use is called the voltmeter and in tensor you have seen that voltmeter is always connected in parallel across the points where we need to measure the potential difference and ammeter is always connected in series series in the circuit so uh, the electrons will flow or current flows through a conductor normal to the cross section how can you define current current is the charge divided by time current is flowing normal to the uh, area cross section of the conductor now if you divide current divided by area current by area it has uh, got another name called current density current by area is represented by symbol j j is equal to i by a called current density so this also a term that you are supposed to understand current density what is current density current by area cross section what to be si unit current has an si unit ampere area has si unit meter square so ampere per meter square is si unit of current density electric current current density and potential difference now uh, you will say ohm's law we have seen that when electrons flow through a conductor the potential difference across the conductor is directly proportional to current flowing through it at constant temperature so v is equal to a constant r into i r is called the resistance r is equal to v by i v you divide by i resistance means it is opposition provided by the conductor for the flow of electric charges through a conductor r is equal to v by i r has a unit known as ohm v by i it has unit volt per ampere or it is known as ohm ohm has a symbol omega 
So ohm is as a unit of resistance. Resistance is the opposition provided by the conductor for the flow of electric charges through it. Then we have seen that the factors that depend on resistance of a conductor. The resistance of a conductor depends on mainly four factors. Resistance is directly proportional to length of the conductor. Resistance is inversely proportional to area of cross section. So when we combine these together, we can write R proportional to L by A. Or R is equal to a constant rho into L by A. Rho is called resistivity. Now what is resistivity? Rho is equal to R into A divided by L. R has a unit ohm, A area, meter square, length meter. When you cancel one meter, you will get ohm meter. Ohm meter is a unit of resistivity. So the resistance depends on three factors. One is the length directly related, area cross section inversely related and uh, the material of the conductor also that is represented by the resistivity. Ohm meter is a unit of resistivity. The reciprocal of resistivity is called conductivity. Sigma is a unit of symbol of conductivity. Sigma is equal to 1 by rho. Sigma is called a conductivity. Rho is called a resistivity. The unit of conductivity is ohm raised to minus 1, meter raised to minus 1. So these topics you will learn as an introduction for the chapter current electricity. So in current electricity you have seen what is electric current as a unit of electric current and equation. Then device used to measure electric current is called a meter. Then we will see voltmeter or potential difference. Potential difference is equal to work by charge as a unit of joule per coulomb and uh, joule per coulomb or volt. Voltmeter is a device used to measure potential difference. So when electrons need to flow through a conductor, there should be a potential difference. This uh, cell is creating potential difference. Positive end is at high potential, negative end is at low potential. Then we will see uh, the resistance. Ohm's law states that V proportional to I. Potential difference across the ends of a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it at constant temperature. V is equal to R into I. R is equal to V by R is called the resistance of the conductor. Factors affecting resistance. Which are the factors? Directly proportional length, inversely proportional area cross section, combining R proportional to L by A or R is equal to rho into L by rho is called the resistivity of the conductor. So three factors. Resistance depends on factors like length, area cross section and the material. Rho is known as resistivity. It has a unit ohm meter. When you take reciprocal of the resistivity, that uh, term is called conductivity. And conductivity sigma is equal to 1 by rho. It has unit ohm raised to minus 1, meter raised to minus 1. So this is an introduction for the chapter current electricity. These topics you have already learned in 10th standard except the topic current density and conductivity. Okay, uh, next class uh, we will see the remaining portions of the chapter current electricity. Okay, thank you.